गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल हो यू ऑल आर फाइन सो चिल्ड्रेन ले स्टार्ट आवर क्लास सो टुडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर ट्वेल्व इन चैप्टर ट्वेल्व नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेली ओके इट इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटी ऑफ आवर कंट्री सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो वट इज द नेम ऑफ आवर कंट्री इंडिया एंड डेली इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया ऑल ऑफ यू नो ओके सो सो डेली इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया द फर्मर नेम ऑफ डेली वॉज इंद्रप्रस्थ यू हैव हार्ड अबाउट द पांडवज कौरवज इन द महाभारत सीरियल यू हैव सीन ओके सो द पांडवज दे हैव क्रिएटेड द सिटी दैट इज द इंद्रप्रस्थ सो द इंद्रप्रस्थ लैटर नोन एज डेली ओके एंड बिफोर दैट ड्यूरिंग द मुगल पीरियड ड्यूरिंग द मुगल पीरियड द एम्पर शाहजहान ओके ही हाज देन ड्यूरिंग मुगल पीरियड शाहजहान हाज रिबिल्ड इट एंड कॉल्ड इट वट शाहजहानाबाद ओके सो द ओल्ड नेम ऑफ दिल्ली वॉज इंद्रप्रस्थ ओके हुईच वॉज बिल्ड बाय द पांडवज एंड ड्यूरिंग द मुगल पीरियड शाहजहान रिबिल्ड इट एंड it was named as shahjahanabad according to his name shahjahan it was known as shahjahanabad okay so now we'll discuss about its situation its location okay delhi is situated on the banks of river yamuna okay so on the banks of which river on the banks of river yamuna it is situated the area of delhi is 1483 square kilometer okay so it is situated on the banks of river yamuna its area is 1483 kilometers okay now you see in the map okay it is our india map and here is delhi okay so it is the location of delhi is here now in this picture in this map you can know properly it is the map of delhi only okay and you all of you know about the direction while you are reading the map you should know the direction na what always it is the north then south east and west so it shares its boundary with what haryana it shares its boundaries with haryana and uttar pradesh in which uh, direction it shares its boundaries with states of haryana on the north west and uttar pradesh in the east side okay so it shares its boundary with haryana and uttar pradesh delhi is divided into two parts what are they old delhi and old delhi and new delhi old delhi and new delhi okay and together old delhi and new delhi together form as national cap- capital territory of delhi okay beforehand it was known as the national capital territory but now it is counted as a what now now it is counted as what it acquires the status of a full fledged state okay now delhi becomes a what state okay now delhi become a state then delhi is also called the mini india why it is called mini india because it is the capital of india so many people from the other from the other states they live in india for so many months means it is as it is the capital of india the, all the ministers are living there all the main offices are there so many companies are there so people from all over the world or india all over the india other states of india people live in delhi so it is known as mini india okay so it is known as so delhi is known as mini india now we'll discuss about the climate of delhi so what, what about the climate of delhi here the climate is extreme extreme means it is very hot during summer and very cold in winters extreme bahut zyada garmi bahut zyada thand okay and a hot and dry wind called lu also blow in summers it is very hot so a lu that the hot and dry wind that is called lu it blow in during 
summer season so it receives its rain heavy rain during the months of july and august okay so here about the climate it is the extreme climate okay now we'll discuss about um what it is the all of you know it is the what capital of india so before that it was known as the what union territory but now it it become a state so as it is the as it is the capital of india all the uh, what prime ministers like the chief minister then the president all they live in delhi and the president where the president live okay the president uh, where they live it is known as the what rashtrapati bhavan what is the uh, in hindi president is the rashtrapati okay so where the rashtrapati lives it is the rashtrapati bhavan clear then we'll discuss about different places of tourist agar hum kahi ghumne jate hain to wahan par sare jo interesting places hain hum dekhte hain na to there are the many different famous beautiful buildings historical buildings okay so jama masjid it is the jama masjid is the biggest mosque in india okay it is it is situated near red fort now it is called it is india gate india gate is a historical building built during the british rule okay it was built in the memory of brave indian soldiers okay jo soldiers shaheed hue hain unke yaad mein ye banaya gaya hai india gate okay a flame called amar jawan jyoti always keeps burning at the india gate in the memory of this soldier to ek amar jawan jyoti wo hamesha jalta rehta hai kinke yaad mein jo shaheed hue jawano ko jo shaheed hue hain unke yaad mein wo hamesha wo jyot jalti rehti hai amar jawan jyoti okay then here it is the kutub minar kutub minar is a tall tower situated in mehruli it is about 73 meters high and it was built by kutubuddin aibak to kutub minar kisne banaya kon banaye the kutubuddin aibak aibak kutubuddin aibak okay then here is the jantar mantar and other uh, different uh, historical places are jantar mantar old fort humayun's tomb tugalka batto po fort so all these things if you ever been to delhi you should visit all this places okay now another thing we are talking about rashtrapati bhavan there it is situated on the top of the raishina hill okay and the mogal garden are the very interesting part of rashtrapati bhavan people can visit the garden during the spring time spring time mein bahut sare phool pura khile hote hain bagan pura khila hota hai garden pura the garden was is full of flowers beautiful flowers so it is open for people during only the spring season okay then see lotus temple it is another beautiful that attraction that people are attracted to delhi you should to visit the lotus temple see its shape is like a lotus okay so that's why its name is lotus temple okay the most famous birla mandir chhatrapur man, uh, mandir then guru bangla sahib gurudwara uh, sisganj gurudwara uh, rakabganj okay all these things also they are to visit then churches are there james church then moti masjid uh, moti masjid jama masjid all are the what spiritual places also people uh, they also move there to see the places then for children also in places of interest in delhi there are the rail museum okay so you can see the rail museum so some places of children interest in delhi are nehru planetarium geological park dolls museum then rail museum national science center lodhi garden national museum okay all these things you should visit these are all meant for the children elders also go but these things are mostly enjoyed by the children so delhi also has some very large shopping centers like connaught palace palika bazaar chandni chowk carol bag etc so for marketing purpose also uh, many people go to delhi okay and now we'll discuss about the transportation so in the previous chapter in the means of transportation we have learned na delhi is famous the fast city to have metro train 
ओके सो दिल्ली मेट्रो ट्रेन कॉर्पोरेशन हैज चेंज द फेस ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम इन दिल्ली मेट्रो रेल हैज मेड द जर्नीज इजियर एंड क्विकर सो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन फैसिलिटी इज वेरी गुड यू कैन इजिली गो थ्रू रेलवेज और एयरवेज ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट आवर वर्ड कैपिटल डेली ओके सो यू रीड द चैप्टर यू कैन सो कैन यू कैन सो दैट यू कैन आंसर द एक्सरसाइज द शॉर्ट आंसर्स ओके यू यू रीड द चैप्टर ऑल द आंसर्स आर इन इन साइड द चैप्टर ओके एवरीथिंग सो वॉट यू लर्न डेली इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया इट हैज नाउ बिकेम ए फ्लू फुल प्लेस स्टेट बिफोर एंड इट वॉज यूनियन टेरिटोरी नाउ इट इज काउंटेड एज अ स्टेट देन डेली इज अ थर्ड लार्जेस्ट सिटी इन इंडिया and then how hot about the climate of delhi the climate of delhi is extreme means it is very hot in summer and very cold in winter then all the central offices are in, uh, located in delhi okay so very interesting you see the map so that you can easily see where the the states of haryana and uttar pradesh they share the boundaries with delhi okay and all the different places of tourist interest you can see okay so in the next chapter we'll learn more about other cities okay that's all for today children thank you